Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are uh, exploring writing an equation given a word problem in order to solve uh, for the unknown values, the using equations to solve word problems. Okay. So this particular problem I'm pulling from CPM course three, CC three, and this is section 7.2.1 specifically number 7-38. So it says, Oki is a Western lowland gorilla living at the Franklin Park Zoo near Boston, Missouri, or Mass excuse me, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, he loves to fingerprint. Many of his paintings have been sold because their colors are so interesting. One painting was sold for five times the amount of the second. The third was sold for $1,500 or $1,500. If the total sale was for $13,500, how much did the most expensive painting sell for? So it, it asks us to define a variable, then write and solve an equation to solve the problem. Okay, remember to answer in complete sentences. So here I've got a couple situations. I got two paintings, right? So I'm going to take some notes, two paintings. Uh, actually, I've got three paintings, don't I? Hang on. So one painting. Oh, yeah, there's three paintings. So one painting was sold for five times the amount of the second and the third was sold. OK, so we've got three paintings. So if I have three paintings, um, I'm going to list them and figure out which one is going to be my variable. Right. Which one is my X, the, the the price of the which painting? So it says one painting was sold for five times the amount of the second. So if I knew the second, I could find the first. And then it says the third was sold for it actually tells me what the third is. So I'm going to list my X as the price of the second painting. Because, again, why did I know that? Because it says one. So we can say that the first painting was sold for five times the amount of the second. So if I knew the second, I just multiply by five and I'd find the first. So. If I think about my my expressions here, my second painting is X. So my third painting would be, uh, excuse me, my first painting would be 5X. My second painting is X. My first painting is 5X. First painting price with that. And then my third painting, well, it doesn't, it tells me the third was 1500, so 1500 is my third painting. Okay, so I've got my three paintings. My second one I'm calling X. My first one is 5X. My third one is 1500. And then this is the check part, right? If I was gonna do a guess and check table, this is my check part. It, my equation comes from this. The total sale was for 13,500. So my equation in this case, is going to be add all those up and set it equal to 13,500. So it's X, the second painting, plus 5X, the first painting, plus 1,500, the third painting, needs to all add up to be 13,500. So there's my equation. So once I have my equation, now my goal is let's, let's take this equation, solve for X, get my X alone. And once I know my X, then I can go back and plug all that in and talk about what my answers are. So when you're solving an equation, you combine like terms, 1x and 5x is 6x. Okay, and then try to isolate x. So I'm gonna subtract 1500, 1500 from both sides. So now I have 6x is equal to, I subtracts to be 12,000. And then divide both sides by six to get the X completely isolated here. And we end up with X is going to equal 2000. So there's my X and remember X is back up in here as the price of the second painting. So if we're going to answer in words, we would say, here's our, here's our solution, our answer. Okay. Uh, we would say that the, the second painting, Uh, sold for 
$2,000. The first sold for 10000 because it's five, five times amount, right? 5X, five, the first one sold for five times the amount for 10000 And I think that's all it wanted was to figure out what the, oh, so actually the question, I'm sorry, I didn't go back to the question. How much did the most expensive painting sell for? So we've got it written there. The first one sold for $10,000, which was the most expensive painting. So we'll leave the answer that way.